Decentraland wearable builder tutorial series and today we're going to talk about um, UV wrapping a uh, model. So what we're going to do first is we're going to import our base male or female model um, whatever you want to work on if you work want to work on them simultaneously in my case I'm just going to work on the base male so we can kind of just give you a rundown of how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our Y negative so we are just straight on faced onto the guy. This is how I like to work. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up in our left hand corner and go into edit mode. So in edit mode we want to be in make sure we're in face mode so this three tabs appear all the way to the right. We're in face mode. And what we're going to do here now is we have this toolbar down here. We want to pull this guy up a little bit. And this clock button in the corner we want to go to that guy and we want to hit UV editor. So what this is going to do is we're going to be able to view our image here and where we're going to be able to place it on our model. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back to that view. Sorry, I just lost my mouse a little bit. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new material. So this new material slot up here. We're going to hit a new. And then down at base color, we're going to hit this yellow dot. And we're going to go to image texture. So I've already made my texture. Um, I will make a video that we go through about how to do different textures, the different sizes and stuff. But for this case, if you already have your texture that is 512 by 512 pixels, um, we can open it up here. So I'm just going to open it up in here. And um, I'm just using my logo as a reference. So what we're going to do, it's going to load up there, but it hasn't placed it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag our mouse and get this area going on right here. Um, we want to make sure the part that we want to color or texturize is selected. So as you can see now we're down here we have our you know our little shirt icon. So that's really good. These are little parts I may have selected if we're going around. I might have oh there it is. We could deselect that. And then we go around here. You notice that I selected the head. So I can just hit control, click that out. All right, so now we only have the t-shirt selected on the front. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit that new material we're gonna do, we're gonna name it um, our t-shirt um, logo, mat. All right, so we just now know our difference between our avatar skin mat and our t-shirt logo mat. So what we're gonna do now is with that selected, we're just going to click our t-shirt logo mat and then hit assign. And you can see it places it on there, but it places it on there very weird. So we want to, you know, change that up a little bit. So there's a little picture icon down here, and we want to find the logo we just uploaded. So we're going to hit the HK logo because that's what we're doing today. Um, so what we're going to do now is we can click and drag our mouse and highlight our t-shirt area now. Another way we can do that by just hitting A. So if we hit A on the keyboard it selects all. So now if we hit S on the keyboard it will size it up for us. So now you can see the logo is now moving along the t-shirt. So we want to size this up right. So I'm just gonna play around with this, get it all sized up in the center. Boom. There we are. So now we see that our logo is peeking through again because we went out of the bounds, we repeated out of the skin. So the way I like to fix that is we highlight again, we click and highlight the area that we don't want to be that image and then we can hit A again on the keyboard to select all, hit S to shrink down and then we can just move this anywhere on here that is white and it'll take care of that problem for us. Disappeared. So we can also see it happened up here. So we want to make sure we don't also select our logo. So I'm just going to make sure all of our things are in there. Now also remember I've only selected and highlighted this front area. So this is kind of like a tank top right now. If we wanted to extend the t-shirt out we're going to need to select all this too and make sure that it's all the t-shirt logo. So you can see that you're going to have to kind of play around with sizing and shrinking down these areas so they're all white. 
Um, being white, it's a little bit more confusing along the avatar skin. So what I'm going to do is don't do this. I'm just doing this to kind of differentiate the avatar skin is I'm going to turn this black so we can see what is the avatar skin right now. Uh, again, do not do that. I am literally just doing this for educational purposes. If we flip this around, you can see this is still all the avatar skin. So we have to make sure that, you know, we highlight all the areas that we want to make the t-shirt and we assign it the t-shirt logo and, you know, do our thing again, play around with A and S, making S being the size, making it all white. We'll spin down a little bit. Get those little areas, get them all in the white. Make sure we are assigned on our t-shirt logo. And now you can see we are kind of looking more like a, you know, a t-shirt. So we're going to size that down, move that over. All right, now we're looking good. So as you can see, we just basically wrapped it traditionally how we just assigned it to the material. Super simple. If we go back to object mode, it looks great. We're like, all right, that's awesome. You can see actually there's a few areas that we still need to clean up. So if we click our object, go back into edit mode, go to those areas, click and highlight them, shrink them down, down to the white, go over here, shrink it down, go to the white. The object mode is a great mode to view any differentiations in the color scheme. So this is a really cool place to kind of work. As you can also see, there's this point right here that kind of goes up there. We have to make sure that that's selected. So every little bit of this matters. So we're going to go to t-shirt logo, size it down, move it out into the white. We're going to go over to the other side of the neck. We see the same thing happen. T-shirt logo, assign it, scale it down, bring it over to the white. So our, that's our basic wrap. 